Hello YouTube, Film Buff 6 here. Well, another day for another TV spot for Star Wars The Force Awakens to drop online. Yes, this is this is apparently the tenth TV spot for this film that Disney that Disney has that Disney's just brought us now to, has just brought us today so oh so yeah um yeah the and and I might have missed um a few TV I might have missed quite a few TV spots so so that's why so that's why the numbering of um of most of um of most of my TV spot uh, live reaction videos feels a bit you know all over the play a, a little bit all over the place because because I might have missed because I know I've m I might have missed quite a few, quite a few, quite a few of them. So, so I'm going to um, so after I've um reacted to this, I'm going to um in in light of um of what I've um after what I did after what I did for um. Um, last night for the Sky Movie Star Wars channel promo, I would be I will be giving you guys a little um, shot by shot analysis of the t of this um, TV spot, um, just to um, just to tell you guys um, a bit more of um, of my thoughts on it. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, without any further ado, let's let's punch it and let's punch it, Chewy, and watch Star Wars: The Force Awakens TV spot number D. Oh, the Imperial March. Oh, wow. Oh, there's Andy Serkis. I think this just has to be my favourite TV spot for this film so far. So, um, oh wow, that was awesome. So, I'm going to be, now, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, um, watching it. I'm going to, um, um, watch it again. Whilst at the same time, um, giving you guys a little um shot by shot analysis of this um of this TV spot, so I've rewinded back to the beginning. Here we go. The, there's a it it. We 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 begin with um with a wide shot of um of what seems to be Kylo Ren's Star Destroyer that we got to see from um the third trailer with um 
with um with general snow with um um general snow i think i think andy circus's character is um general snow um saying there has been an awakening and, and um in this next shot we see um we see the stormtroopers seem to be raising the town of Jakku to the ground. Stormtroopers opening fire in the next shot. Then this fantastic wide shot of the First Order in what seems to be um, Starkiller Base. Um, sort of very similar in imagery to... Uh, the Third Reich, um, if that makes any sense, and, you know, um, and, um, and, you know, um, Hitler, um, and, you know, Hitler, um, announcing to the Third Reich to, um, declare war on the world, that's kind of what imagery like that sort of rem it's sort of very similar in 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 that's it's sort of very very similar in imagery to that. Have you felt it? Then then the have you felt it? Then in these next few shots we got we get to see um a po we get to see more footage of Poe Dameron being being sort of really brutally tortured by Kylo Ren, sort of very, very similar to how um, Han and Leia were tortured in um, Bespin, you know, Cloud City, towards the end of Empire Strikes Back. Yes. Then Kylo Ren sort of saying, yes. Whilst come whilst um whilst um um over the shot of him and his stormtroopers exiting his um his his very own space shuttle. Then Ooh then of course then of course um a shot that we've seen so many times before in other trailers of the knights of ren then on then poe dameron can't can't really remember what what he said there i'll i'll have to Go back to that. Give it everything you got. Saying something like, give it everything you've got. Being, being, you know, sort I, I, which, which I think indicates to me that he is going to be, that Poe Dameron is probably going to be um, the Wedge Antilles of this new trilogy. So... <sighs> We get to see um, more X-wing Tie Fighter action. Um, the very similar shot that we've seen in previous trailers of um, of Ray of Ray seeming to cry over a dead body. We we don't really know who that is at the moment until we've seen the film whether it's whether it's Finn whether it's Poe Dameron whether it's Chewbacca or whether it's even Han Solo we or even or or whether even it's even Han Solo we don't really know yet so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, um, um, a new piece of footage just there of um of a stormtrooper being um blasted away to death. Then, um, then I think what seems to be, I guess the um the star um one of the star destroyers being 
you know, one of the Star Destroyers being, you know, destroyed, so to speak, you know, an explosion. Then we get to see more of, um, of Rey, um, confronting Kylo Ren in the forest. Then Chewbacca, um, then Chewbacca, then Chewbacca uttering out the familiar brrrr whilst, whilst fighting. Then, then, then it's, then it's all, then it's all fast action from there of, um, of the, of the, um, of the Millennium Falcon, TIE Fighters, we get to end, we get to end on a, sh we get to end on the very similar, on the, um, the last shot, on the, the last shot that we saw of the, um, of the third trailer, where Finn, where Finn confronts Kylo Ren out in the snowy forest, um, and he looks, and he looks, completely out of his depth and you can feel the sort of the fear and the dread in his eyes as um as Kylo Ren um charges up towards him either either probably to kill him or to get um or to get um or to get the lightsaber that he's the lightsaber that he's holding because it used to belong to his grandfather, um, Darth Vader, um, at Darth Vader when he was Anakin Skywalker, or it could be both. Um, we we never we we don't really know at this point. So, and and that's really um all I can gather from from this um very very short. 60 second TV spot, um, um, I've said it, I've said it before, and I will say it again, this is, this is, um, and also, um, and also, um, and we also got to hear the Imperial March, you know, Darth Vader's iconic theme from most iconic theme from the original trilogy back which which might mean Darth Vader will have um a, a larger presence in this film than than we actually thought from the trailers you know from the trailers you know from the trailers even though we did get even though we did get because we did get to see um Vader's burnt mask in some of the trailers um his burnt mask from when Luke from when Luke burned Vader's body at that funeral pyre at the end of Return of the Jedi so so I so 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 this gives us this TV spot overall it gives us a bit more of an idea into um who Kylo Ren's character it is going to be is going to be and how much he's going to he's going to really um really style his his persona after Darth Vader, which seems to be a lot. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it there. It's it's one of my fav one of my favorite TV spots for Star Wars: The Force Awakens so far. It is bloody awesome. So. Um, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below, and please let me know your thoughts on on the tenth TV spot 
for Star Wars The Force Awakens. Plus, feel free to subscribe to my channel as always. Uh, don't forget to like my Facebook page if you haven't already. Do take care, everyone, and may the Force be with you.